morning welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome to the video don't forget to subscribe while you are here if you are already subscribed then thank you so much for coming back so today I thought that I would take you guys through a full day of eating the reason for that is because I actually put a poll up on my Instagram asking you guys what video you would like to see next I did a poll between a full day of eating and a leg workout um, and the results were overwhelming <laughs> and everybody wanted to see a full day of eating which is a video I have not ever done before so look I'm up for the challenge I'm definitely gonna make it happen um, and I'm definitely excited to share with you guys what a full day of eating looks like for me if you guys haven't already seen it in my last video that I did post I had a chat to you guys about my current goals around training which involves bulking so I'm currently in a bulk phase I'm in week five of my current bulk so it's an eight week bulk that I am doing so just to break it down for you guys obviously bulking is a term that gets thrown around a lot but what it really means is eating and training in a way in order to be putting on as much lean muscle mass as possible there's a lot of different ways to go around bulking some people love a good dirty bulk um, just in order to get their calories right up there um, nothing against that totally up to you personally I try to eat things a little more whole some a little less dirty um, like in terms of like fast foods and things like that I'm um, not saying I'm adverse to them definitely love a good cheat meal love going out and having a you know popcorn at the movies or getting a pizza or heading out for sushi and things like that definitely three of my favorite things um, but largely overall I do like to keep my diet predominantly as healthy as possible in terms of the nutritional quality of the food that I'm eating what it largely means to be bulking is to be eating in a caloric surplus so eating more calories every day than you are burning in an effort to put on weight so the reason that I'm doing that is because I am trying to build as much muscle as possible with the goal of powerlifting in the middle of the year so I haven't decided on my meat or anything like that but I definitely want to compete this year and in order to do that I want to build as much muscle as possible to give me the overall greatest strength possible that I can have so that is why I'm currently in a bulking phase and why I'm eating in that caloric surplus so it's currently nearly eight o'clock in the morning on Monday the 12th of March and basically this morning for me so far I have gone I've run my boot camp for the fierce project and then I have gone and I have got in all of my grocery shopping done so I love to get my grocery shopping done really early I'm literally like one of the first three people to walk through the doors I love it there's no one else in the shops you just wander around get my stuff get in get it done and literally get out by about 7 30 and my grocery shopping is done but anyway we'll get into it um into my full day of eating and I guess I'll just start it off and I'll unpack the groceries which I've just gone and then you guys can have a look at what a typical grocery haul looks like for me as well best way that I can kick this off for you guys is to give you an outline of what my current macros are daily um, these are a little bit different to what I talked to you guys about in my last video because I've just entered into week five of my eight week phase so obviously crossing over into that halfway mark I redid my macros up last night took into account obviously the changes in my body composition and I have reevaluated my macros to give myself my new macros for the next four weeks so to kick it off and tell you guys exactly what my macros are so my calories are 2,902 calories, which breaks down into 171 grams of protein, 80 grams of fat, and 372 grams of carbs. Mm -hmm. 
All right, are you ready to see how I break it all down? Okay, so meal one for me is going to consist of a three egg omelet, which will have Danish feta in it and spinach. I'll top it with half an avocado, and then I'll also have a bowl of oats, which has blueberries and honey in it as well. And I will also be using the almond milk, so unsweetened almond milk on top of my oats as well. I'm just also getting my oats ready. So I've added 70 grams of oats into here and 40 grams of berries. If you are tracking macro, the most important thing that you can invest in is a good quality kitchen scale. So it allows you to weigh everything out so that you're getting the correct portion sizes to actually be hitting your macros. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of water. Just enough so that it is just covered. And then microwave them up and get them going. So I just added in my almond milk and 12 grams of honey over the top. So that is my oats ready to go. My half an avocado has just been added to my omelet and I'll just sprinkle some pink Himalayan rock salt and black pepper over the top as well. Okay, so I've literally just transferred this into a sippy, sippy cup, a travel cup that I can take with me. I've got to go and take my next class, which is at 9.30 and it's currently just gone past nine o'clock. So I'm gonna drink my coffee on the way to the class, take the class, come back, have something else to eat, which I'll show you guys and then get to the gym. So I will catch you guys on the other side of this class when I'm having my next meal. Hello. Okay, so I'm literally just gotten back from the boot camp. Whoa, a little bit shaky, sorry. Um, so it's now five past 11. Uh, so I have been home for a little bit. I did just go through my fitness pal and really plan out my meals for the rest of the day just so that I can make sure that I really hit my numbers. It's definitely something that I would recommend if you are either new to tracking your macros or you're entering into a new phase like I am. Once I'm, I've figured it out, then I tend to just eat very similarly day by day because I sort of know what I need to be eating for the day. But obviously today's a little bit different um, just in terms of the quantities for each and my overall calories. So I did just want to sit down, break it down so that I know exactly what I do need to eat for the rest of the day. And now that it's planned out, it makes it a lot easier for me to make sure that I just make the meals and I roll with it for the rest of the day. So now that I've done that, it makes it really easy. So I am just planning out my second meal, um, which will be my pre workout meal as well so I'm just prepping and in the bowl I've got 90 grams of oats so just quick oats I'm about to add in 50 grams of frozen raspberries and then I'll add some water mix it all up and then I'll top it with some of my protein I use Tropica protein and I love the pump protein um, I'm gonna be adding in vanilla for this one and it really just tastes like a big delicious cake batter so I'm just gonna whip that up now and that will be meal number two There we go, meal number two. I know it doesn't really look that delicious, but I swear to you, it actually tastes like cake batter and it is so yummy. So definitely give this one a whirl for a good source of carbs and protein. I love a good bowl of proats. All right, I'm just gonna take my proats into the office with me now. I've got a bunch of emails and things to get to, a little bit of work, so I'll do all of that while I have my proats and then I'll be heading to the gym. My six weeks to strong actually kicked off today as well, so I'm super excited. I've got so many girls taking on that online challenge, so I'm gonna go and check in with all of them now and just make sure everything is running nice and smoothly for day one, so that's super exciting. If you do want more information about that, I'll just pop the link in the description box if you do wanna find out more about the next round, um, and yeah, you can just click there and find out the information but yeah gonna go and get into the office eat this and then get to the gym
just gonna take off now and start driving and I'm gonna eat this little baby banana, which doesn't look that little on the screen. I don't know if you can see, like, if it's better next to my head. It's really small. I had to buy kids' bananas today. Apparently, that's what they are, mini bananas for lunch boxes because I didn't have any normal size bananas. So, yeah, gonna have one of them. So, a little baby banana. Changing your life. And so, I just say that to myself. I'm the type of person that just arrived at the gym so it's been about 10 minutes since i ate that banana <laughs> that you guys saw um, i'm just gonna take my pre-workout now which is prolific by pe science so i'm gonna take this go in get ready do about 10 minutes of cardio just to warm up and then get into the lifts so i'll take you guys in with me to the gym and i'll show you some of the workout i won't show you the whole thing because this video is about a full day of eating not a full workout so i'll just show you little snippets here and there so that you can enjoy some of the workout and i will see you inside the gym. I've just gone back from the gym. I'm absolutely shattered. That workout killed me. Um, I reprogrammed like I was telling you earlier. Um, so I brought in a whole bunch of different exercises and just changed it up a lot and really, really pushed myself. So my legs are absolutely fried. So I'm going to make my post-workout shake now. I'll show you guys what I put in that. Oops, sorry, it's a little bit dark. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, this is like my go-to shake. I have it all the time. I love it. I'm just getting stuff out of the freezer. So going into my post-workout shake, obviously you want to get a good source of protein in. Like I told you guys earlier, I use Tropica protein and a whole bunch of Tropica superfoods and things in a lot of different smoothies and recipes that I make. Um, so I'm going to be using the pump protein, the chocolate flavor from Tropica, and I'm also going to add in some maca powder as well, just because it's really good for a little bit of energy and because I am feeling a little bit sluggish after gym, I'll be adding that one in. I'm also going to add in a serving of creatine monohydrate from ATP science I am taking this every single day at the moment just in order to really support my bulking goals in order to be helping my body to grow as much muscle as possible over this eight weeks so we're adding in some of that I'll be adding in 50 grams of frozen blueberries and a whole frozen banana. I'll add in about four ice cubes, 150 mils of almond milk. So I use unsweetened almond milk and then I'll just make the rest up with some cold water. I said the reason that I had to make this was obviously so important to get your post-workout meal in like as close as possible to your training so as soon as you finished like, either take a protein shake with you to the gym or get straight home and get something in you really want to make sure that you are getting a really good source of protein in because obviously when you're at the gym you're tearing your muscles and it's really important that you replenish them ASAP which is why I've made that shake first rather than like waiting for my lunch to cook which is going to take 
probably 15 to 20 minutes by the time I like cook the meat, prep everything and actually start eating. So I just want to get this in first. So I'm gonna sip on this while I cook my grass fed beef patties. about to head out the door and take my final class for today. This is kind of like an insight into my life as well if you guys didn't really know what I did. Like I obviously do online coaching, I have all my clients online which you guys know I've been on top of today as well, getting everybody started for six weeks to strong. But as well as that, I obviously run my boot camp, so that's the Fierce Project. Um, and yeah, I run that throughout the week and today, Monday, is a day when I have three classes so it's very like in and out and in and out so I just got to make sure that I manage my food around that it is 5 30 right now my class is at 6 so I need to get out the door I'm gonna eat an apple on the way so just wanted to show you guys that I will also be eating this just to bump up my carbs a little bit get me through the class and then I'll come home and I'll show you guys what I'm having for dinner um, sorry if that was like a massive ramble I gotta get going, so I will catch you guys after class. Okay. Oh, that's so glary. I'm home. I'm showered. I'm fresh faced. I've got the world's best pajama pants on. Um, it is currently 7.30 p.m. What I'm gonna go and make for dinner right now, I'm gonna go and make spaghetti bolognese, but what I'm gonna do is a different version. So instead of pasta, I'm gonna use zucchini noodles, so zoodles, and the mince meat that I'm going to make is kangaroo mince with a tin of 100% um, diced tomatoes and some passata sauce. Okay, it has just gone past about quarter past nine. Um, so I'm gonna have my final meal for the day, the last bit of eating as my full day of eating comes to a close. The last meal that I'm going to have. So in here, I have got 150 grams of plain Chobani. I have got 45 grams of the ONG granola, which you guys saw me buy this morning. I've got 40 grams of frozen blueberries, which I just defrosted um, a little bit just to make them a little bit softer and then 11 grams of honey. So that's what's in there. That is a nice little finisher to the end of the day. I love having a little bit of a desserty something or other at the end of the day. And if I can fit it into my macros like I've been able to today, then it is perfect. Um, you guys will see when I'm weighing it out that I put the Chobani onto the scales and I tear it to zero and then I just scoop out the amount that I want to put into the bowl. So it just makes it a little bit easier to make sure that you're taking out what you actually want to eat rather than like putting it into the bowl and then having to take some out because you put too much in. It just makes it a lot easier. So it's definitely a good tip if you're working with liquids or things like peanut butter, um, heaps of stuff like that that's in jars and it's a bit runny. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this. That is a full day of eating for me guys. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching the video. I feel like it's given you a bit more of an insight into my life, how I eat and sort of try and look after my own training goals. If you did enjoy the video, please do 
give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget guys to subscribe to the channel because I am bringing out new videos every single week and I wouldn't want for you to miss any of those if you do find this sort of content fun and interesting and informative and you're learning something out of it. So thank you again guys as always and yeah I will have my dessert now and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!